Welcome to Nectanese podcast. This podcast covers the most relevant topics regarding macOS and iOS. The goal of our show is to describe our listeners how to keep their smart devices always fast, clean and free of junk. Do you still remove applications by just moving their icon to the trash bin? We hope you don't, but if you keep doing that, you should know that in this case the applications remain all their service files on your Mac. As a result, you may unknowingly store gigabytes of useless files on Mac hard drive. In this podcast, we will tell you three possible ways to delete apps on Mac correctly without their traces remaining. Learn them and choose the most convenient way for you. The first way of uninstalling apps is to use a special software, App Cleaner and Uninstaller. We recommend this way to most of our listeners and here is why. App Cleaner and Uninstaller is a special application designed especially to remove programs correctly and completely. It is easy to use and it allows you to uninstall apps with several clicks. App Cleaner and Uninstaller supports more than thousand Mac applications for removal. In addition, it has extra features that you can use to reset apps, clear broken service files, and even manage user and system extensions. To uninstall applications with this method, you should simply launch App Cleaner and Uninstaller, select a needed application that you want to uninstall from your Mac, then simply click on the Remove button and confirm the removal. And that's it! What could be easier? In the description you can find the link to read more about this method and the download link for App Cleaner and Uninstaller. The second way to completely remove apps is to do it manually. It requires understanding the macOS catalog system, which takes a bit more time. If you are a new Mac user, we highly recommend that you first learn about the hidden library folder and then use this tutorial. You should be careful not to remove extra files by accident, which may damage the macOS system's work. So let's learn the manual way to uninstall app. First of all, open Finder, go to the Applications folder and move a needed application to trash. After that, you have to remove the service files of the deleted app. They are stored in the library folder. By default, this folder is hidden. To find it, open Finder and use the Command Shift G shortcut. Then type tilde slash library in the search line and press Enter. Now, you should search apps remains in the following subfolders. Application Support, Caches, Logs, Preferences, Containers and Cookies. Remove all service files related to the deleted app that you found in those directions. And don't forget to clear the trash. The last possible way to uninstall a needed app is to use the provided uninstaller. Some developers provide special uninstallers for their apps. These uninstallers are only for applications downloaded from the Internet. Usually, the native uninstallers should be stored in the Applications folder in Finder, but they don't appear in Launchpad. If your application has such an uninstaller, find it in Finder, launch it and follow the steps provided by the uninstalling process. It may happen that you remove an uninstaller item accidentally. In this case, you can check the developer's website to download it again. Or use one of the apps removal ways we described earlier. So, to sum up, the easiest and most reliable way to uninstall applications on Mac completely is to use App Cleaner and Uninstaller. It takes several clicks or up to 10 seconds to remove any application. Finally, it is easy in use and doesn't require you to be a computer geek to do the task.